Hey you guys, so I am making macaroni and cheese and it's by far my favorite recipe, super creamy, super, um, I don't know, smooth to eat. Um, it only requires a few ingredients and I'm going to show the picture of the ingredients. And what you're going to need is an 8 ounce can of evaporated milk or half and half. Um, preferably evaporated milk. It just gives it like that nice creamy, I don't know, different texture than half and half. Um, a box of any kind of macaroni. In my preference, I use the spiral macaroni. I don't know the exact name for it, but I call it the spiral macaroni. Um, also eight ounces of cheese. Now I used sharp white cheddar cheese. You can use yellow sharp cheddar cheese. Doesn't matter, I just like white cheese um, for this specific recipe. And you're gonna need a quarter tablespoon of turmeric, salt, I mean turmeric, Jesus. Paprika, salt, onion powder, and um, a little bit of mustard. I put spicy mustard, but you can put any mustard. And um, two tablespoons of butter and a whole block of cream cheese and you want the cream cheese to be softened and just mix all those ingredients together as you watch this video you'll see and learn how to make this awesome creamy mac and cheese hey guys so now that we have water boiling I'm gonna lower it down a little bit and we're going to add the pasta. And when I do pasta or um, like macaroni or whatever, I truly don't like putting butter or oil just because it creates a film on the pasta. And so like whatever sauce you put, even though I'm just making macaroni and cheese, but like if you were to make like a red sauce pasta um, sauce or something, the pasta here has like little pores. And so if it's covered in oil or something buttery or something, it won't collect all that sauce inside. And um, so that's why I don't do it. And I also don't add salt to my water unless the dish is not as salty but because macaroni and cheese is very salty with the cheeses that i'll be putting in and stuff and i'm already going to be adding salt i don't put a lot of salt little to none in the pasta water so we'll also be cooking this pasta for around 10 to 12 minutes when it's um al dente and i love that type of texture on the pasta not too hard, not too soft, perfect texture when you chew. So now, on low medium heat, we're gonna grab, right here, we're gonna grab the butter. Now, I'm using two tablespoons of butter. Um, I have here a quarter tablespoon of mustard, paprika, onion powder, and salt. And then here is cream cheese. And the reason why I cut it in slices is because it makes it easier for me to melt it in the pot. And also, when you put the cream cheese, make sure it's um, either like room temperature or softened because it's much easier to stir around. So we're going to add the butter. And we're gonna let that. I'm using the same pot as uh, the pasta, so the pasta right now is sitting down, cooling down. So we're gonna get this. Once that has all melted, we're gonna get the spices and put them in there as well. Mix them around. Once you feel like you smell the aromas of these spices, 
you can then proceed to put your cream cheese. <clears throat> You're gonna put the cream cheese in there. Now I put it in slices because it's easier for me. You can put it in a block, but it's gonna look weird and stuff. So like, I like to just do it little by little. It's gonna look like this, all weird. It's better if you use a whisk, but I don't have one of those tiny silicone whisks. I need to buy one though. Now that the cream cheese looks like a cream, you're gonna add the milk. It's an eight ounce can of evaporated milk. You can use half and half if you don't have it. Now we're just gonna stir it around so it gets a little thick. So now that the sauce looks like this, this is with the evaporated milk, <clears throat> the cream cheese, the paprika salt, onion powder, and the butter. Looks pretty creamy. You're now gonna add the eight ounces of sharp white or yellow cheddar cheese. I prefer white. So I'm going to put it in there. Mm, come on. We're going to leave just a little bit like that for the end. And you're going to keep mixing. And you see that I have nothing is bubbling or anything. So that's how you want to keep it. Everything gets all put together on a low to medium heat and it all works really well. Okay, so now that it's a sauce and it's nice and thick, we're going to start adding the macaroni. I'm going to grab that. Put it in there. I didn't use like elbow macaroni, I used a spiral macaroni. Mix it all up. Now here you can eat it just like this. You don't have to put it in the oven. But I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese on the top of it to broil it up for five minutes. So that way it's nice and crunchy on the top. But super creamy, super creamy and dense on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to grab like a glass pan. I think it cooks better in either spray butter or regular butter. We're gonna spray it. Then we're gonna add this nice creamy macaroni. See how creamy it is? You could eat it just like this. You don't have to bake it. Spread it nice and hot, super good. Then we're gonna get the leftover cheese from when we were making the sauce and sprinkle it on top. It's not a lot of cheese, but. And then in your oven, you can set your oven to like four, 420 or put it on a broil for five minutes and you can take So it this out. is the final product. I didn't want to get it crunchy on the top and I second thought about that, but it's nice and like cheesy, really pretty. So just look at that. That's so nice. So we're gonna go. Serve it. This serves about four to five people. 
pretty little. And just look how pretty this is. This is gorgeous. Super white and creamy. That's why I like white cheese. Because I think it just looks so much better than yellow cheese. <laughs> But yeah, there's the finished product. Hope you guys like this video.